I will be talking about the physiology and behavior of localization PNB number one and this is normally the first eight mark that you learn in pre-IB in grade 10 so yeah um, I will be doing McGuire at L2000 you can do Milner 1957 or Wilson 1985 it just depends but I chose McGuire because that's the one that I got taught and also it is the most lengthy and we'll probably get to the full eight marks. So basically here is a disclaimer, so just pause the video and read that. And yeah. So the question is, explain one study and the theory behind it related to localization of function in the brain. And the command term is give a detailed account including reasons or causes. I don't include the command term in eight marks, but it is better if you do, I guess. So basically paragraph one, you will talk about the theory, you will define localization, elaborate upon it and give an example. I usually refer the example to McGuire Al, and then that's a good linking sentence to introduce it. So I said that localization of brain function, you must say localize, localization of brain function, refers to the theory, you have to state the fact that it is a theory, even, it is, even if it is in the question theory that, is that a specific structure in the brain carries out specific functions. This means that human brain structures are cap capable of carrying out different structures such as vision, movement, comprehension, speech, hearing and overall body control. And provide an example, an example is must. The hippocampus plays a key role in declarative memory formation, consolidation and initial storage. Then I go on to introduce the key study. You must say that it is a quasi-experiment because that is very important. The quasi-experiment that supports this theory is one conducted by McGuire et al. in 2000. I do recommend um, studying the year, who investigated localization of spatial abilities to the posterior hippocampus. This always, when you're talking about localization, the function is always localized to the structure. So, I go on and talk about McGuire and Al, and the AIM method results and conclusion should all be in different paragraphs because it is explained and it is detailed. And I've actually done a video on that already, so I will link it to you right here. Just go and watch that. In so that's the paragraph one, two, three, four, five, and paragraph six. These are actually very small paragraphs, so it is not going to be a lengthy one. Mine is only 445 words. So I say, what is localized regarding the regarding the study? Um, and then I give just another conclusion. It's just a lengthy explanation of the conclusion. So integration of new information was localized to the interior hippocampus. So the structure, the stru let me color code this. The structure was localized to, no, sorry, the function was localized to the structure. Based on previously learned material, spatial navigation, the function was localized to the structure. That's very important. And why um, Maguire hypothesized this? Because the taxi drivers had a constantly reply rely upon and use their stored memory for spatial navigation skills for going around London and basically mapping out the whole place just by memory. And this was only hypothesized because no causal relationship was established. In quasi-experiments, no causal relationships can be established, but um, correlational can, and that will be mentioned in my other video where I talk about McGuire. There was further support for the key role of hippocampus in spatial memory formation. And the last paragraph is just concluding about the theory. So basically localize localization of brain function does not mean, this is very important, does not mean that each part of the brain operates in isolation. The hippocampus is a network of regions which all have different aspects of memory formation, storage and retrieval. It is reductionist to conclude that separate parts of the brain operate independently. 
And basically that's your 8 mark. If you include all of that information then you will get an 8 as long as it's detailed. Just remember the main key points that I colour coded or highlighted and good luck!